Hello all you beautiful people. How are you guys doing today? Um, straight hair because I'm going out with my RB tonight and I'm going to put my straight hair extensions in so um, I decided to straighten it so I wouldn't have a problem tonight when, to get, when I get ready. Okay, so, oh, I guess I should set my timer. Okay, so this video is basically going to be a continuation on my body types video or the introduction to body types. And it was really fun doing that video and it was fabulous getting um, all the uh, messages from you guys and the replies and comments. It was very sweet. So uh, basically what I did at that point is I kind of planted a seed and uh, I left it at that and you guys all went and you did a little bit of research on it, which is what I like. <laughs> I can't teach you everything, but I can, you know, uh, give a little bit of uh, information and then you guys go and learn. I like that a lot. That is the purpose of this YouTube channel. So, okay, so going back to that, I guess, I guess basically you guys have now uh, all um, done the research and kind of figured out what body type you are, which I love. I love it, I love it, I love it. So then I'm going to bounce into, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the birds and the bees today too. Um, when you look at the body types, I, I had uh, actually a subscriber of mine uh, comment and leave me this very sweet message uh, talking about how how we are, you know, spending our whole lives uh, fighting what God has given us, right? Um, and I, <laughs> it was very sweet because I thought to myself, you know, um, God has given us these three body types for a reason. We all have gotten certain gifts. Uh, ectomorphic people have certain abilities. Mesomorphic people have certain abilities. And so do endomorphic people, right? Um, just because God gave us these abilities for our body to be a certain way um, doesn't mean that we can sit back and go, oh, well, you know, God created me to be this way, so uh, I'm just going to give in. <laughs> that is not what life is about, people, because um, what you guys need to think about is this. We basically are animals, right? Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not into uh, e e like e evolving. I'm, I'm not. Uh, you know, evolution. I'm not into evolution or anything like that. I'm not preaching any of those things. But if you think about um, the beginning of time and how times have changed and how our lives have changed, we're basically mammals. And if you look at uh, mammals in the wild, um, animals. Uh, in the, uh, you know, the animal kingdom in the wild, not, not talking about people. Um, whenever there is um, a drought in a country or a shortage of food or anything like that, pe uh, animals don't procreate. Like they don't, um, uh, they don't go around and you don't get, like, you know, obviously occasionally you get um, somebody, I mean, one of the animals, say a fox or something with a higher body fat, and basically what happens is um, they go in heat and then they will uh, procreate. But, however, when these animals are um, in a country of drought or in a, where there's a shortage of food, they don't go into procreation mode. Uh, <clears throat> in other words, when all the animals are starving, uh, they're not going to go around having babies because there's a shortage of food, right? So if you think about it that way, really, people were created the same way. Um, in the beginning, uh, okay, taking ectomorphic, endomorphs, and mesomorphs again, um, we were created to do, to have certain abilities, all right? So, um, we, we were created to have muscle. Now, in the olden days, when we didn't have all the technology and everybody wasn't sitting in front of a computer doing their jobs that way, <coughs> we gained muscle through basically working, right? Uh, hard work, hard labor. People had to plow their own fields. They didn't have tractors and all of these wonderful things. And that is how they kept their muscle. And that is how people didn't get fat. It, it didn't matter whether they were ectomorphic type, endomorphic, or mesomorphic type. Because of hard labor um, and actually having to work hard for your food and go out and hunt for your food, people were, didn't have the problem of being fat, whether they had an endomorphic uh, a body type or not. So... <coughs> Taking that into account, um, if you see how life has changed and everything has evolved and, and, and stuff like that, people are basically wasting away their muscles by not doing hard labor anymore. Um, they, they sit in front of, I mean, everything is so high tech and everybody's sitting in front of computers and um, th their muscles are basically wasting away. That's why... <coughs> Um, exercise is so important. I mean, you know, I guess you can uh, get away from the normal uh, uh, everyday life and go and live somewhere in a in the tundra or whatever and catch your own black bear or white bear or something to eat. But I mean, that's impractical, right? So here's the thing. Um, 
our bodies were not created to be fat, they were created to be muscular, but they also really weren't created to be lean, okay? Lean is a healthy way of life, it's, it's something that's healthy for your body, but there's a certain body fat where when you go beyond that, um, all of your uh, bodily functions don't work the way they do when you have a higher body fat percentage. So, um, uh, okay. Each of those body types, okay, uh, I don't know, I, I'm like, ugh, 10 minutes is not enough to give you all the info. I always say that. <laughs> I wonder if my um, thing came through. I, I might be making longer videos. Anyway, s skip that part. Um, when you take, uh, okay, there's two things that I want to deal with. I want to deal with the pros and cons of each body type. But I also want to tell you guys about um, how these body types react um, Okay, genetically and, and, and basically what your brain has to do with everything. Remember the, the two babies that I, I told you about? The one was, uh, they had these uh, genetics, same genetics and everything, and the one baby was chomping away the food and the other one was uh, not doing the same thing. Well, what I figured out, like we've been, Johan and I have been working with ectomorphs, <coughs> mesomorphs and endomorphs. Sorry, people, I'm going <coughs> to... So, okay, let's go on. This is what we found. Um... Ectomorphic people will always tell you how much food they eat, okay? And definitely, you can see those people sit down and they can chomp away a plate of food this huge. But they, you know, and then they tell you, oh, I can eat so much, I can eat so much. And then when people see them eat, they can't, can't understand why these people are so skinny. But here's the thing. When you take these people on a daily basis, okay, yes, they can chomp away a huge, big, honking piece of uh, a meal or, or a plate of food. But then basically for the rest of the day, they don't eat anything. Okay, so when you get, and then the same thing with endomorphic people, they will tell you that they eat really healthy. Uh, they can't understand why they have a problem with uh, being overweight and everything. But once you get the, the endomorphic people to actually write down uh, <clears throat> a food log for you, then these people start realizing how much more they eat than what they think they eat. Um, you will also find that uh, endomorphic people are very... Uh, is a lot more resistant to actually doing food logs as opposed to ectomorphic people. So um, here's the pros and the cons of, of each. The, the mesomorphic person is usually mesomorphic, he's in the middle, but he tends, he's, he's either mesomorphic, ectomorphic, or he's mesomorphic, endomorphic, which is towards the fa fatter side or towards the thinner side. Now, um, mesomorphic people is kind of, um, everybody can be unhealthy. Ectomorphs can be just as unhealthy as endomorphs when it comes to eating, right? So whether it doesn't matter what body type you are, yes, you will always fight to be lean because it's not natural for a person to be lean. If you, if you remember how I told you about the animals, if you take, with, especially with me and Johan being in, in the bodybuilding and having done the competitions and having had different, ty uh, different um, types of leanness, different types of body fat, basically here's the thing that happens and here's where the birds and the bees come in. When you're a certain uh, body uh, percentage of fat, your body functions really well. Um, women are not created to have to be built like me. Uh, basically, what I did is I went against nature and I rebuilt my body to something that I like. But women are not born with broad shoulders and small hips. A very, very rare percentage of people are born that way. Um, Women are created to be pear-shaped and carry, carry most of their fat and their weight um, in their waist area and in their bum area. The reason for that is because we are made to carry children, right? Um, and men are broad-shouldered and usually um, thinner around the waist because they were created to be strong and to be able to do all of these things for women, right? So being lean, exercising, training, that's kind of, um, doesn't matter which body type you are, a little bit against nature. It is a fight with your own body. And that is where um, the leanness comes in. This is what happens to, to human beings. Basically, I don't know if you guys, and my thing is going to ring. Okay, so here's, it, here's what happens is when you look at athletes, professional Olympic athletes, uh, a lot of women, when they do, when they're so active and they do all these sports and they're so lean, their periods actually disappear. Now, the same thing happens to uh, bodybuilders, women that get fairly lean. Like when I'm in my off season, um, I'm around about 15% body, body fat on average. And uh, although I don't, you, you know, at 15% body fat, 
it's a very maintainable body fat percentage and it's a place where um, people can function normally. It's something that you can maintain. It's not a problem. However, uh, when you go lower, like when a woman goes from, uh, uh, you could have a period like right about up until 10% body fat. Under 10% body fat, your period will stop because your body um, naturally is created to have a certain amount of body fat. When you go below that body fat, your body uh, signals, reads it as, uh, oh, there's a starvation in the land, so I can't procreate and have babies because my babies won't make it.